In this video I want to show you how to make simple custom trees that I like to call stumpy oaks. I'm still learning trees myself and this is the style of tree I started making to learn and I use them quite a lot still. They are versatile for most build and terrain situations and I think a good start point to learn and develop from there. To start with we first stack up 5 blocks and then from the side of the top block stack up again 4 more blocks. I like to go from the corner but directly from the side is fine too. Now the branches for this example we're going to keep them straight and have them on all sides. You can vary the height of where the branches are positioned but as you go higher up the trunk you want to make the branches smaller. And as you're doing this make any adjustments to the trunk and branches like take away or adding blocks to improve the shape if you want. I'm using slabs for the branch ends but you could also use fence posts or gates. But I also always place a fence at the very top of the trunk. Going to add a stump in now also, just a few blocks around the side with slabs. You don't want to go too high with this and I tend to just do it like this with maybe one part of the stump two blocks high, usually under the highest branch. What helps me with the leaves is starting from the branch ends, I basically just place a leaf block on all sides and the top like so. And then at the very top of the tree I try to leave at least one air hole. This process helps me to visualize the overall shape and gives me dots to connect up to when building the rest of the tree leaves. You can also start connecting the dots here if you want to start building out the tree shape. Although another help here is to build out the branch ends from the bottom trying not to go too far out or hang too low. When placing the leaves you're going to be replacing and breaking a lot of blocks because you want to avoid having too many leaves right next to each other. Instead leaves will be at diagonals or corners from each other for the most part and you also want to have air holes where possible. If you feel that removing leaves will make things better even leaves connected to branches, then try it and see how it looks. It's all just a case now of filling in the rest of the tree leaves and connecting the dots using this technique. As you build take a step back often and look from all angles to get a good idea of how the tree shape is developing and to see if you spot any areas that look off, any areas that need more or less. Is the tree shape how you want it to be? You will get better over time with every tree you make but also remember that trees aren't perfect and if you try to make the perfect tree you'll never finish. It's okay to have gaps as trees do have gaps, it's something I'm still trying to get my head around, but for these trees I do personally like to have some density, so I usually add a few leaves inside and below the branches.
To finish things off, let's add some texture to make the tree look a bit more interesting. As we've used oak wood, we can get stripped spruce and planks, which are similar in color, but offer a different texture. And also using slabs, stairs and fences, we can add details and interest to the tree, swapping blocks and adding to the shape. And there we go, a, a simple tree, a stumpy oak. With the basics down, you can look to change the shape and add new features. I started again with stacking up five blocks, but now we're changing the trunk slightly at the top and also we can start to curve branches for more interesting shapes. Once the trunk and branches are built, all the leaves are placed in the exact same technique as before. The extra details in this tree come with using glow berries to hang from the branch ends. So be sure to use bottom slabs so you can place them, or place them against fall blocks. And also you can add more slabs into the leaves just to create the idea of more branches even if they don't connect to anything. I think it's a nice touch. And there we go, a simple tree that works in most situations, give it a try. Try it with different blocks and leaves. And maybe these techniques can help with creating other kinds of trees as well. 